This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. Hey, gentlemen. No, we're you guys can't actually be here. Private security forces. Well armed, I suspect. Confronting government persons. It's not something you see very often in the U.S., but in our dreams, at least, this is not the U.S. This is New Hampshire. And 80% chance you're going to see something like this again and within the next four years, at least once, as more and more free staters brush up against the authorities because there's more and more of them here to do so. Well, there are more. To me, this conflict with the tax collectors at Porcupine Fest sort of uh, highlights a phenomenon I call the... Hmm, what should I call it? Uh, the society within a society phenomenon, where you're starting to see free staters in New Hampshire establish their own institutions that sort of mirror what governments traditionally do. For a long time, we had, in a sense, our own court. Uh, Jack uh, said that they needed some assistance over here moving in today. In the form of Mike Ruff, who served as an arbitrator, and I got the impression from everything I saw, he did a pretty bang-up job. We have since 2007, roughly, this thing that borders on being a 911 service. It's called pork411.com, and it sort of enables you to call the public for help, the public in New Hampshire, by voice from your phone. We have prototypes, or early versions, of what might be called our own governance, Porcupine Festival Management, for example, or the administrators on our web forums, all of whom presumably get enough grief and whining from the individuals they oversee to be referred to as a government. Yeah, some of that whining, of course, supplied by me. I think it was our Buckminster Fuller who said that you're, you're much better off replacing something bad than griping about something bad, uh, offering competition. So mostly, I think that this trend of a society within a society is a good thing as long as the free staters don't uh, develop oppressive institutions of their own or follow the path of the Republic of Texas, which has its own institution that claims to be the government of Texas. It wouldn't be appropriate for us to, any of us, to claim to be the government of New Hampshire, but I don't see any trend in this direction. Oh, of course, if one of us is elected governor, it might be different. Anyway, what examples do you see of free staters forming a society within a society, and uh, do you think it's good or bad? LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat.lrn.fm. <laughs> That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to... LRN.FM Feds don't want you to hear them.